championship begins here. And now for the most famous words in motorsports, please welcome your Grand Marshal, Vice President of Rockland Capital, Carla Banks. All right, here we go. Drivers, start your engines. Well, the 2020 season is about to get underway. The Gander RV and Outdoors Truck Series Pace truck is off. It's Riley Herbst, the pole winner, on the inside. Brett Moffitt on the outside. We're racing at Daytona. Good push from that bottom lane. Kind of uh, pulls the first Toyota truck up front there um, to take control here. But still a solid outside lane right there. That's probably going to make a pretty good run out this back stretch. Herbst out front, got a little help as Joey noted in that outside line. Back, but it is uh, populated, so we'll look for some movement from that outside lane and how quickly they can get back up challenge at the front. It's all about doing the bump draft correctly. You can see Ross Chastain, he's right on the back of Brett Moffitt. Can he bump into that tailgate and give Moffitt the momentum to pull alongside our leaders. You can see the contact there. That's why Moffitt's truck is dancing around. In the truck series, you cannot lock the bumpers. That's a drive-through penalty. We've seen it happen before. It's really difficult to get some bump drafting and not get those bumpers locked up at all. Nervous. Yeah. That, yeah. I, I, I'm nervous watching these guys because look, at they're running 190 miles an hour. And what, oh, got a problem for one of the trucks. Is that Kraus in the night? Derek Kraus and Kraus had moved up into the top 10. He was running seventh at the time. And an obvious issue for the 19 of Kraus. And he had really made a nice move up. It started 16th. And it okay. No fuel, no fuel. Not worried about fuel here. Left side tires. Get a good look at that left front. Sounds like it sounds like they're talking about the left front. Maybe he has a left front tire flat, or let's see what they're doing here. Left side tires, which is an interesting call. Oh, they got an issue under the yeah. hood, maybe, in the left front corner. Checked it out. Two tires. Now you just don't want to make a mistake. He can overcome this. You don't want to speed on pit road and lose another lap. Because this is early in the race fence. We got stage breaks. There's probably going to be a caution. I know that's a shocker to everybody watching at home. But, Joey, you know that any vibration when you're in a pack like this, especially when you're a rookie, oh, there it Whoa. goes. In the middle. Oh. No. Austin oh, laid no. himself an upside down as the 45 of Majeski. Ty Majeski and his truck comes to a stop. You just know with all that movement, bouncing back and forth, side to side, trying to side draft. One guy zigs, the other one zags, and you have a mess. It's just the intensity level keeps uh, you know growing as you get to the end of these stages. You see five to go in the stage. It's, uh, a push is probably the the, the beginning, and yes, there it is. Todd Gilman in back of the. That's Fogelman in the 0 2, oh, wasn't two, it? 2, yeah, and then, man, he just. Majeski just turned sideways down the front, and it just tipped right over. NASCAR does so much work in the wind tunnel to have uh, flaps, air flaps, different panels on the truck that blow away that is supposed to prevent that, but probably just one of those circumstances that put him in a real. Real, in real jeopardy. It's not the oh. most efficient car. Angela Ruck is around oh. and into the wall hard. Christian Eckes gets a piece of it. Hold the wheel straight. Hold the wheel straight. Take the wheel Fogelman straight. part of it. That's a lot of fire. And the 28 of Doza. Brett Moffitt, there's the 23, the former champ. Keep an eye on the double zero of Angela Ruck. Yeah, a little contact with Derek Krause, and that got it going. She tried to squeeze in a tight, tight, tight position there, and wasn't quite enough room for her to do it effectively. And does anyone find this ironic that on the 28 is the is the fire department? <laughs> <laughs> Looked like he's in a hurry to get there, but it isn't over. I feel like this race is out of control. I don't know what you're thinking. <laughs> Rhodes in it, oh. and there goes Rhodes. Contact. Big right, come on, straight enough, straight enough, straight enough, straight enough. Go straight, man. Come on straight, keep coming straight, keep coming straight. Get off the 
So many involved. Jesse Little, the 97 around, the 13 of Johnny Sauter in it as well. Sheldon Creed, there's Tyler Ankrum in the 26, and Ben Rhodes. This is how it started. Ben Rhodes from the bumper of Johnny Sauter, but you don't know. He might have been sideways already. Just these guys were just so close and pushing so hard. Yeah, you're pushing three wide. Uh, and, and as we can tell over and over again, when a car gets to another back bumper, uh, they just become unstable. And yeah, it's a bad spot for the for the 99 of Ben Rose to be in. He had the 98 door to door with him, uh, which is the most unstable your car is going to be. And then a push comes behind you on the exit of the corner as the banking flattens out. You're along for the ride. The next flag will end the race. Yellow or checkers, and it's Grant Infinger out front. You know Ross Chastain oh, going to make Chastain that move. Oh, Chastain barely what a saved save. It. Bottom, get bottom. Jordan Don't Anderson in second behind Infinger. Zane Smith trying to come from the outside, looking for a little help. Down the back stretch into turn three, it's still Infinger. Jordan Anderson second, Cody Roball third. He's hooked to him. This is going to be a big move. Anderson swings outside. He's going to get him. Jordan Anderson and Grant Infinger. Oh, oh, it's going to be Infinger. In the middle, you got it. What a throw. Wow. Grant Infinger does it. And it's the 100th win for Ford. team they have been singing and chanting the Gatorade is flying Grant and Finger a hundredth of a second there you just wanted Daytona what does this mean to you and this team unbelievable feeling a uh, hundred win for, for Ford in the, the Gander Outdoors truck series so unbelievable for them more importantly the 25th anniversary for, for Duke and Ronda how much they put into this sport um, and, you know, God's blessed us with a great opportunity to come out here and are able to, to pull it off tonight. So uh, we had a great F-150 all night long. Um, wish Dennis could be here from, from Champion. He, he missed it. His, his wife, Mary, is, is having some surgery some Mondays. So uh, we're thinking about her. But my mom and dad are somewhere up here. Uh, my wife is right there. It's a special day for us. And uh, just an unbelievable night. Valentine's Day. But take us through that race. You drove about as flawless as you can at Daytona. How did you do it? Because there were wrecks throughout the night that you were able to avoid. Uh, the biggest thing is we had a really good Ford F-150 to, to do it with. Um, I made a mistake there with about 20 to go. I got, got hung up in the, in the sucker hole. Um, I, I pulled up in front of Ben too late and uh, he was going to wreck me or, or, or put me in the middle and, and that's what happened. And, and at that point I was pretty confident a wreck was going to happen. Um, so I tried to buy my time on the bottom and then uh, uh, we were able to, it got, I guess, four or five laps to go, and then it's time to go. And uh, we were able to, to get up in the, in the third groove and make some stuff happen and, and get the lead on that, that big wreck going into one and two. So that's, that's what kind of sealed the deal for us. Uh, my buddy Ross gave me some good pushes at the end. I know he was trying to, to, to reach out on us, and I was able to block him. But um, just unbelievable night. Thank you to, to Jeff Hensley, Duke and Ronda Thorson, Pop Tart with the, with the pit crews, Josh Hankish, everybody that makes this possible. Third career win, and it happened at Daytona. Congratulations. Thank you. The Great American Race. You don't get a name like that by chance. No, that's something you earn. Because this isn't just another race. It's a run at history. Sunday at 2.30 Eastern on Fox.